Hello and welcome to Words with Modern Railway. My name's Mike and we have another Let's Build a Card Kit. Now it's going to be unusual this card kit build. Um, it's not actually a kit for your layout um, but the techniques uh, used within building the kit um, we, we actually use quite a lot within the Words with Range so by doing this kit you'll actually be practicing some of the techniques that you're going to require um, if you're going to follow up on some more card kits now it's something that's been requested quite a lot and you're going to find it quite interesting what we're going to do today um, so without waffling on much further what we're we actually going to build and it's actually in the center of the screen right now it's the glue stand for the fine tip applicator I've had loads and loads of emails asking can we make this available as a download so I've decided to actually put something together and this is what we'll build today but I don't want to just give you something plain and boring like this what we're going to build let's get the glue back there I've actually dressed it up we're going to build this it's exactly the same but it's got covered in brick paper and it's got some other little details so it looks good whilst you're uh, sat there on your workbench building away now the kit comes in two parts we've got this top section here that's all you need to actually glue to some two millimeter grey card this bottom section is your print only and this section just shows you looking down just like this if you were looking down onto the uh, onto the kit where the wall joins actually go so let's start off by cutting this off and get it glued to some two millimeter card okay we've got that onto some two millimeter card we're just going to let this uh, dry for a little while but the um, fine tip bottles uh, that I'm using at the moment are actually from the Metcalf range and I've got a little picture of it uh, that will be included within the kit and it actually tells you the uh, the model number um, that you actually look for and it comes with three bottles and they've all got their own little uh, pin safety pin in the top uh, to stop the uh, glue from uh, drying out so what we'll start with is we'll cut out the base section and then uh, we'll go from there so we've got the base section cut out from the two millimeter card let's just put that to one side what we now need go to your print only and this section is the next one that we'll cut out but before we cut it out there's some dotted red lines these are our fold lines it will make folding this over the two millimeter base uh, a lot easier and you've seen how I've done this before but uh, a few have requested to see it again basically a steel rule I use um, it's an empty uh, ballpoint pen I used to use the knife blade but sometimes it actually score through this puts a nice dent in the paper and you get a better fold so it's nice and simple get your steel rule line it up with the first dotted red line and basically one two 
three. Move to your next line and repeat the process. One, two, three. And to be honest, you just do that with all the dotted lines and you'll do the horizontal dotted lines. So I've roughly cut out the base from the print only section and then what we'll do is this is what I mean regards the line see how easy that folded there just bring it across and you just fold over each line just like that and unfold it again turn it round do your next piece see it just makes it so easy to fold those lines over you get a nice crisp edge then there you do horizontals Right, and then we'll do the last ones. Right, now what I like to do is Use a pen and then on those lines just lightly run down the inside of those lines and you're going to say why is he doing that and I'll show you why. So we've got those and I've done the lines. There's the base section. When it comes to actually fitting it, you can just line it up with those pencil marked lines and then they'll all fold over. But before we get to that stage, let's get rid of this gutter. There we go, so we're now at the stage to glue the covering piece over the card piece. Now, let's get my little glue mat. Trusted Pritt stick. Give it a good coating. Flip it around. And what we'll do, that goes into the centre, make sure she's all square, and it doesn't matter where you start, you can start anywhere, but just fold those ends over, just trying to keep it all lined up, and that one, fold it over, I fold it over and then the last one fold over put it down right that's your base ready to accept the walls so let's move that out of the way. We'll go back to his two millimeter card. Let's start with the two easy pieces: side wall one, side wall two. 
So I'll cut these out, I won't bore you with me cutting through some 2mm card. Okay, we've got the two side walls cut out from the 2mm card. And what I've done is actually marked a little T to just show there the top. It makes no difference because it's symmetrical. You can turn them the other way around and the top can become the bottom. It's just something that I like to do. You don't have to do that. But now we've got those. We've got the brick paper on there. But what about the inside? So what we need from this, the print only section, we need to cut out these two. Sidewall 1, sidewall 2. Okay, we've got two side walls on card and the two side pieces on the print only. Fairly straightforward. All we're going to do is glue that to that one and that to that one. So let me get these glued and then we'll uh, carry on. Okay, we've got two pieces glued together. Inner and outer walls for the side walls. Let's just put these to one side for now. We'll go back to his two millimeter card. And what we'll do is we'll do the tall wall one. We'll cut this one out first. So, we've got our section cut out. What we now need Go back to the print only section and let's cut out this uh, tall wall number one which will glue onto the back piece of this card. So we've got our print only section that we're going to now glue onto the back of this card. That will then give you a printed inner and outer section. So, we've now got the tall wall complete. Now, there is some capping stones that will come across the top. And obviously, because this is a curve, we have a tricky section here to do. Now, if you don't want to put the capping stones on here, what you can do is actually uh, paint this a nice brown colour so it matches in with the bricks and just put the capping stones on this top section. But if you practice doing this, because you'll need this for several of the kits uh, that we have out there. Uh, there's the uh, tunnel portals where you, you fold over on a similar shape and actually this bears resemblance to the fuel storage tank where the fuel storage tank sits on top and there's a capping stone once again that goes on that section there. But what we'll do is we'll put that to one side for now. Let's get the small one cut out so we end up in exactly this position. So here we are, the last piece to come from the 2mm card is <laughs> I've actually got tall wall 2. Yeah, maybe it should be small wall 2. Uh, I might change that before the final release. I can see why I've called it tall wall 1 and 2 because the side walls are actually shorter. But uh, we'll see. Let's get this cut out. Right. We've got our end wall, the smaller section cut out. We need to go back to our print only. And let's get this one cut out so we can glue it onto the inside of this wall. paper section, our card section and 
we just need to glue that onto there now so uh, let's get the glue mat and get it glued on so we've got all the two millimeter card sections covered and basically what we're going to do is glue them onto the base just where it says glue walls here so let's get on with that shall we okay we've got the side walls glued to the base it's all nice and square what we'll do is we'll just set this to one side just so that the glue can take uh, hold and then the next step will be to hide these nasty grey corners just like we do on the houses um, and the other kits where we wrap some brick paper around here and it'll just get rid of all these nasty edges so let's just put this to one side for now before we continue so we're back to our only print section what we need to do now is there's some dotted red lines down the center of these sections and there's some horizontal lines you might not see them on the camera but they are there and what we'll do is we'll score down the vertical lines so we can fold the paper in half and then you need to cut from the center out from the center out on that red line and the same on these two you'll see why shortly once we come to use these pieces but let's get these scored like we did with the other sections right we've got our two lower corner sections cut out and what we'll do there's a left and a right so that one is for this corner here no it isn't it's for that corner there and basically what we're going to do is glue the corner strip over here just like that so it hides that nasty raw edge so what we need to do get some glue and glue it on to there like so and then because there's an overlap put a little piece of glue on there run it down this side just like so and there is a little flap that actually folds in here so some glue on this inner wall So, let's get the first piece onto the side, get the corner, put it in position, and can you remember those horizontal cuts I was telling you about, those dotted red lines, it's so you can fold that section over there, just like that. and gives you a nice complete brick edge yeah how's that now all you've got to do is repeat that 
on this corner and then on these corners okay we've got our corner sections all fitted nicely what we'll do is the next easy task which is the capping stones that run on these lower side walls these are nice and easy to do so let's get these ones out of the way so let's put that to one side go back to our print only section you can see there's only four pieces left now we're nearly done these are the side walls we just need to score down the dotted red lines get them folded over and get them ready so that they go onto the uh, side walls okay we've got our capping sections ready so we can cover these raw edges on these lower side walls and basically all you're going to do is apply some glue and they just fit in nice and simple oops it says dropping that one inside let's turn it round so I can see what I'm doing so they'll end up looking like that so let's get these glued in place right we've got our capping stones in place see doesn't that look better now this is the tricky part we've got these capping stones to go in down here now like I said you could just paint brown paint or a marker pen in this section and just put the capping stones on these flat sections here but you might as well get some practice in and do these and it will go easy I'll show you how I do these and we'll get them glued in place so let's get this to one side we've got our last printed section and what you'll see is the usual horizontal score line so we can fold over but we've got some red lines here and these red lines indicate that circumference there and I'll show you why it's important so let's get these scored and we'll get those folded first and then I'll show you what we do regards these red lines so here we are with the last items and you can see I've got the fold creases already in but what we need to do now and this is where it gets tricky it may scare some people out there what we've got to do is use a steel rule in fact might pay for me to turn it round this way right get your steel rule so it's on the horizontal line because what we have to do there's a dotted red line here and a dotted red line there what we need to do is cut from the steel roll down that first dotted red line do the same on this red line now this is the tricky part each one of these little bricks now need a line cutting down like so 
And the reason we're doing this is so these will fold over those arch sections that form the saddle that hold the bottle. Now, I know it sounds scary, but if you just take your time and just do one steady line at a time, we'll soon have them all cut. Right, now I'm sorry to say what you've got to do is turn it round and do exactly the same from the other dotted line and back out. So once again, start at that dotted red line, come across to this dotted red line And then just slowly cut up each brick segment like so. Now you're going to have to be careful once you've got these cut because these are very, very delicate now. nearly done just one more right what we'll do is we'll cut this one out very very carefully so we'll start at this end spin around Start at that end. Now, very carefully, and I lightly score down until you shave it off like so. Spin around. Once again, light score, light score until we're through. That way it avoids dragging those lines. Let's put this one out of the way. Now then, I don't know can bring this up so you can see but there's all those little brick fingers so this now apply some glue and it's this is the short end across the top down the cradle and across the top and then the front down the front and on the reverse side you could try applying glue onto this section but it's just a little bit too delicate now so let's get the glue and apply across the top across the top down the cradle now yeah, then 
This is where it gets tricky. Just follow it all the way around. Across the top. And then the same again on the inside. And then this is where the fun begins. Start on the flat section like so. Make sure you're on the end. Then force your piece down, force might be the wrong word, gently encourage it down. You then got the flat section on the opposite side and fold over the tabs just like so right all you've got to do now is fold down all these little fingers see how easy that was Might need some more glue on that little section there, so lift them back up. Just a little bit of glue there. There she goes. Lift those fingers back up. Some more glue. Just like that. Repeat the process on the inside. Fold them down. How does that look? Not too bad. Yep. Yeah. Same on the inside, I don't know if you can see it in there. There we go. So that's one out of the way. Repeat the process on this side. So we've now got the last piece in. Just done exactly the same as how we did the front. The sides are in, the corner covers are in. The full unit's complete. And to test there's the glue cradle complete. Now, I hope you've enjoyed making this little kit and you find it useful. I mean, like I said, you, I was going to put this version up, but you must agree, this version is a lot more flashier. And why shouldn't you have something like that sat on your workbench whilst you work? So until next time, my name's Mike, happy card building. <laughs>